Hey, it's Tim here. And in this video, this is actually a shortened version of a much longer video I've done explaining how to build and work with set actions and set controls. In this video, I've jumped right to the very end of the content. So I've basically already built out this map which shows uh, the difference in prices and averages across London. Now, it's already using a capability called set actions. So if you're familiar with set actions, you already know how this works. If I make a selection, it changes the context of my visualization and the price differential is now being compared against this one, E17. And if I hover around, you can actually see the tooltip updates to show you the differences in the different prices. In 2020.2, what Tableau have done is they've actually created a filter control that allows you to select these rather than having to select an item on the chart. So you get like a, a filter with the same options as a filter that you can use to select these items. So let's look and see how to do that. First thing we need to do is actually add the outcode set to the filters pane. And by doing that, we're then able to call it in the dashboard. So I'm just gonna click on this drop down here and I'm gonna make sure it shows the in and out of set. And I'm just gonna use the all uh, function here because I'm not too worried about sort of the selection at the moment. Then if I go back to my dashboard and then bring this uh, drop down down, you'll see we have this new option here for sets. And in there you'll see in, out of, outcode set. And basically if you select that, you get this uh, set control. And now watch what happens when I click and use a set action. It both changes the visualization, but it also automatically updates this filter. And so that obviously means that I can use this filter to change my selections. You can see here, if I select E16, E15, 14, 13, the chart is changing to sort of adapt to my selection. And the beauty of this is that I can use filter-like controls in order to do this, okay? I don't have to worry too much about you interacting with the chart. So where interaction is slightly cumbersome, you can actually give users really precise controls that they're used to. And more specifically on mobile devices, this is a great way of making that interface much, much easier to use because the filter controls are optimized for mobile devices. Okay, that's the feature in a nutshell. Uh, this is a much, much, much shorter video on this topic. I've done a full breakdown of how to build this chart, how to use sets, and how to use the set control. It's about a 25 minute video. I really apologize it's that long. Um, and so go check that out if you really wanna get down with the nitty gritty of how this works. Um, otherwise, if you like this video, hit the like button, hit subscribe, or I'll catch you in the next video.